What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. We are talking about iOS 8 messages. There are tons of new changes in the Messages app. You probably heard by now. One of the biggest changes to come with iOS 8 messages is quick reply. Something we've been wanting for I don't even know how many generations since iOS, iPhone OS 2 or whatever. I don't know. It's been forever. Put it that way. We finally have it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, not quite because iOS 8 is still in beta, but if you have the beta, you have it now. Here's quick reply. I'm going to show you right now. You get the little banner notification. You just slide down on the banner notification just like that and type your reply. It couldn't be easier, really. Um, so that is how you can quickly reply to incoming messages without having to open the full-fledged messages app. And yes, indeed, you could still do the same thing from your lock screen as well. If you're on your lock screen, you can reply to messages just like that. Just swipe, tap reply, and you can reply to your messages. You can also dismiss them. Mark is red, basically. You just tap mark is red when they income when they come in on your lock screen just like that. So feature's not gonna blow you away, but it's so welcome. Finally, we can breathe that sigh of relief and have quick reply. Now, next to the text input box, you see the little microphone. If you tap and hold on that microphone, you can record a message. And then if you slide up, you can send that message instantly. Well, not instantly, but it sends over iMessage. You get the point. You don't have to input anything else or do anything else. It just sends immediately. That's the word, immediately. So you tap and hold on the microphone. You slide up. It sends the uh, voice recording after you finish recording so you slide up once you're completed and it will send your voice message to your recipient just like that and they can play it just like that so the really nice thing about this is that it's one hand capable you can do all this with one hand you don't need two hands to do this you don't have to finagle with a bunch of buttons you just tap and hold and then once you're done recording slide up it sends the message or you can slide to the left and cancel your message if you want to do that. So it really is up to you. Uh, the nice thing though is that this can be done with one hand. Now if you tap the details button there are lots of new changes here. You see location. You also have your attachments so you can see all the attachments that you've sent to a particular user or that has been sent to you from a particular user rather. There is share my location which will allow you to share for one hour share until the end of the day or share your location indefinitely so that's going to be someone you obviously trust someone close to you and then there's send my location send my current location so if you just want to meet up with a friend or an acquaintance or they're they're not familiar with the area that you're in you can just send your current location they can quickly find you just like that so that's so easy to do it will give you a nice little map they can tap on that take, takes them directly to the stock maps app um, so you can see there's tons of new features here in iOS 8's messages app and that's really just the tip of the iceberg folks there's more new features if you can believe it yes indeed iOS 8 allows you now to basically manage group conversations so if you have a group iMessage conversation going on say you've been pulled into one you can actually leave the conversation yourself you can leave the conversation if you don't want to receive tons of messages related to that thread you can also set a subject for the group conversation and more uh, so you can now individually manage conversations and it really helps out uh, especially when you're inundated with tons of messages from a group that you just don't want to belong to. Now, the next little feature that you'll find here is sending not only photos, but sending video, quick videos, just sort of similar to the um, to the sending of voice memos via iMessage, like we showed you earlier. You can do the same thing with video. The same basic premise here applies. You can quickly send a video message over to a group or to just an individual if you want to do that. Now, last but not least, one of my favorite new features in iOS 8 Messages app is the ability to quickly send recent photos to a recipient. So basically, you open up Messages, you open up your thread or your conversation, and now if you just tap on the camera button, you can see a list of all your recently taken photos. So I can tap on each of these photos and send multiple photos. Uh, these are all your recent photos, of course. Or you can go into your library and select multiple photos, and then you can send them just like that. So, so nice to finally have recent photos that you can quickly send. You don't have to go and peruse your entire uh, photo library to find the screenshot or whatever you just took. 
uh, to send to a friend. So that is just a brief overview of the Messages app in iOS 8. There are lots of changes here. We'll have a full walkthrough in comparison in the near future. But for now, take this video in and let me know what you guys think about the iOS 8 Messages app in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.